There are two types of Marvel MCU uh, movie fans. There are the ones that like to dive headfirst into uh, theory, speculation, plot leaks, kind of like to know what's going to happen before it happens so they can uh, kind of theorize on what they think will actually come from the movie or the TV show. Then there are the others that don't want anything to do with it. They avoid leaks and rumors and spoilers at all costs so they can experience it for themselves when it comes time. Both groups are awesome and neither one is wrong or right to each his own how you like to digest the content and how you like to enjoy uh, the fandom. Welcome everybody. Jimmy or Chaos, welcome to the Chaos Multiverse channel and today we are going to be catering to that first group. So we're going to be talking about Spider-Man No Way Home and uh, the leaks and spoilers of the ending of the movie. I know, I know. <laughs> we're going going uh, super deep. We're, we're going very, very heavy here. So for the group number two that wants nothing to do with that, this is your official get off the video warning right now. I'm not saying that to be mean or anything. I'm actually saying it for your benefit because this is swirling around a lot of different outlets. A lot of creators are talking about it. So there might be some validity to it. I don't know. I'm not an insider. I'm just going to talk about what I am seeing out there and give you guys my opinions. But if you don't want anything from Spider-Man No Way Home spoiled, you need to go watch another Chaos Multiverse video that doesn't involve spoilers. This has been your warning, and now we are going to move forward. We are going to be talking about the end being leaked for Spider-Man No Way Home. No, I don't know when the trailer is coming. I, it has to come soon, right? If it's going to match up with the release date. And yes, I know there are theaters that are making their own trailer posters. It's kind of becoming a meme in its own right. Actually, it already has become a meme. But there are plot leaks that are flying around uh, everywhere. And before we get into them, guys, I am doing a PlayStation 5 giveaway every single month for the rest of the year on this channel. All you have to do is be subscribed with those notifications on, drop a like, and leave a comment on any video you want telling me your favorite Marvel character and including your Twitter handle so when we do pick a winner, I can actually get hold of you. Now, I'm not going to go through this entire plot leak and talk to you about the entire movie script or anything like that, but there is a massive one that is out there that literally takes you from the beginning of the movie all the way through. All the way through each act and how everything is going to go down. Now, I don't really want to go that deep. I don't. But I do want to talk about the ending because I find it interesting. Now, in the past, we've talked about leaks and rumors being out there and posted on Reddit channels and 4chan channels about there being a big, significant death at the end of this movie. It makes sense. I mean, to make it feel validated, you have to give stuff and then Marvel takes stuff away. But then again, we are in the multiverse now. We are in the anything goes, anybody can be brought back, any variant could come into the timeline, so it doesn't quite hit as heavy as as it did before we watched Loki, or before we knew there were there was going to be multiple timelines. It hit way heavier when it was Iron Man and Captain America. Now don't get me wrong, it's gonna suck when we lose some of our favorite characters throughout the future, and trust me, it's gonna happen if uh, Kang the Conqueror is who they say he is, and he is one of the big baddies setting up for this phase, or maybe multiple phases, and then maybe Doctor Doom, maybe Galactus. I actually have a video going up about that as well you know there's going to be collateral damage. There has to be. There has to be something uh, that you attach to that they take away from you uh, to make it feel more visceral, to make it feel more real. So, the ending of Spider-Man No Way Home. Let me just fast forward you through, uh, according to the leaks and the rumors and this, this plot leak, yes, Andrew uh, Garfield is in there. Yes, Tobey Maguire's in there. It's a little different on how they actually got there, but not super different. If you guys checked out my Spider-Man No Way Home huge plot leak, I mean, there's a lot of it that kind of makes sense. We also talked about uh, Daredevil. We talked about Murdoch and all that stuff, but we're going to fast forward through all that. We're going to get to the end uh, of the movie. The plot leak says that at the end of the movie, Norman Osborn, Mr. Green Goblin, uh, will indeed uh, kill off one of our fan favorite characters. And that character, a lot of people thought it was going to be one of the Spider-Men. Uh, it's not. It's MJ. That's right. According to this plot leak, 
Norman Osborn will throw her across the room uh, and uh, she uh, will pass away. And we're already at the point in the movie where uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland, they, they, they've they kind of got to know each other a little bit. They, they have a little bit of camaraderie. And Andrew talks about how he lost his loved one. Now, according to this plot, Toby hasn't lost, uh, hasn't lost his MJ. And he actually has a kid. But that's a video for another day. But the point is, at this point, they take MJ away from Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So you can imagine the ripple effect that that would have. But here's the kicker. Here's where it gets into the MCU uh, can do whatever they want. There is no technical ending to anything. And that's the beauty of the branching timelines and the multiverse and everything being shattered. At the very end, uh, somehow the timeline is reset. I'm not for sure how, something to do with maybe Tom Holland uh, uses some special orb or something that he's not supposed to use and then he screws things up in a bigger way, but he is able to erase everybody's memories and go back. And when he goes back, he's back in school. Him and Ned are back in school and they see MJ, but it's not the same MJ. It is an MJ that is more popular. It is an MJ that doesn't really acknowledge or know who uh, Peter Parker is, which is very, very sad in its own right because we've watched these two grow together over these three movies. Well, two movies and we'll be watching the third movie very, very soon. And we've watched them get to a point where they're very, very connected. And then that's all just going to be wiped away. Now, at the very end, according to this plot leak, we are indeed going to see another woman or another girl, whatever, teenage girl, woman, not really sure the age range here, and that woman could very well be the MCU and Marvel's twist on Gwen Stacy. That's right. That's what this plot leak says. It pans to black, and uh, you see this girl, and then uh, we're done. Now, I don't know anything about post credit scenes or what that's actually going to set up, but I think it's safe to say there's going to be a Spider-Man 4. Come on, whoever thinks they're not, that's ridiculous. It's going to keep going on for on and on and on. If there's a Thor 4, there's a Spider-Man 4. Probably end up being an Iron Man 4 and a Captain America 4 down the... Well, we already know there is a Captain America 4. Now, we just need an Iron Man 4, which could very easily end up being Iron Lad making the, the Young Avengers in the future, but I'm getting off on a tangent that has nothing to do with right now. But there you have it. That is the plot leak. MJ, uh, she dies, but then she comes back. But when she comes back, it's a reset timeline. And uh, she doesn't know Peter really at all. Think back to the end of Loki when Loki gets back to the TVA and Mobius and B-15 don't really know who he is at all. Right? Exactly like that. That same scenario. There you have it, my friends. Let me know if you think it's true. Let me know if you believe the plot leak or if you think parts of it are true or how it could actually pan out and work. And this be the introduction of Gwen Stacy? Only time will tell. I mean, if you go back to the comics in the House of M storyline, that's where Scarlet Witch actually altered reality to make mutants rule over humans. And uh, Gwen married Peter Parker. And they actually had a young son. So this could get very, very, it could get very, very interesting. Let's just leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you soon.